Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Scarlet Sword. My name is Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we made so much plot happen that we didn't actually get anything physically done and I do apologize for that. It literally was one whole cutscene and I'm gonna make up for that because in this episode we've been tasked with finding the Triforce and we're gonna look around Skyloft to try and find it. It's it's not in this bookcase. It's not behind the bookcase. So I thought I'd start with this guy because he's apparently quite learned and important and has a deep voice that might work or be helpful. Ah, hello Jackass. Have you heard anything anything more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. Oh dear. How, where would you like me to start with that? You want me to tell you want to tell me what you can't? Hmm, I understand. I, and I'm, I'm sure you have good reason for keeping quiet. You have such a deep voice. Yeah. Uh, Jackass, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning or choice for that matter, but I wish to help you as best I can. Aw, oh, I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth, but even old men have ways of being useful. Don't you dare! Don't you dare, that's horrible! I, I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. Oh dear, if you have any question, any question at all about Skyloft or his history, I will gladly tell you about- uh, Actually, I have many questions. You have a very deep voice, tell me more about that. What I know of the Triforce? Mm, jackass, where'd you hear that word? Um, it's an important word in Zelda lore. Uh, it's true that the ancient texts have several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't illuminated in any of those tomes. It's where about to lost a history. Otherwise, we'd know where it is and we'd have it now, because it's apparently quite powerful. Jeez, okay. Sorry, Jack, as it shames me to say this, but my knowledge of it is li of, li of little use on this subject. Mmm, you're very useful. That's very nice. So we're not going to do that. It's nice to talk to him. Oh, hang on. Jackass, just a moment. He's going to tell me about this rather than me doing it myself. I know, where I, I know where I need to go. Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Well, the, it's never been mentioned, but we'll presume that Link, Jackass, is. Levias has served as a protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of the, our, our world is encyclop encyclopedic. It's hard to say of a deep voice, to put it mildly, yes. If anyone in the entirety of Skylift and beyond were to know about the tribe, Forces would be him. Where is the encyclopedic? What's well, a big word for jackass? He's, he's just woke up. Yes, I feared this might be your next question about that. We don't know. I imagine in your travels you've taken notes of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. But why? Why did that happen? Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Levias is trapped inside that massive cloud. Yeah, where did the thunderhead come from? I oh, oh, hang on, that's a deep voice. It does wonders for your throat, it really does. I asked Instructor Owlin to, in, in, to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there was any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Instructor Owlin can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. Oh my, that's a deep voice. Okay, let's go all high and squeaky again. Okay, so we're kind of going from pillar to post, trying to find someone who has enough knowledge to point us in the right direction. And what this actually turns into is kind of a fetch quest, kind of not really, whatever. What was your voice again? I need to remember. I think it was something like this. I just skipped over your text accidentally. I apologize. What? Levias? Ah, so you've been taking, you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. You need to be sort of a, uh, an RAF pilot. Yes. If I'm correct, Levias is the is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not the Levias we, that we all know. That's a monster. A monster, I, I called it. I Yes, I'm, I've played this game before. It certainly looks like Levias, but that last time I approached him, he came rushing at me, and his eyes, they were full of malice. People change, or old wizened creatures change, I should say. Perhaps it's more that, more that he is possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. I don't know. I have this voice for some reason. What? You want to talk to the virus? That's impossible. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop it! I'm doing the script for it. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state. No, I'm good at this. I can I can be this game's script. And even if you were to get close to him enough to talk to him, it'd be likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in a sea of clouds. Hmm. What are we gonna do? I don't know. What? You're still planning on going, you foolish child, you moron? I see, it's because you need to find Zelda. It'd be funny if the actual text said that. Oh, I, I, I didn't predict that. That'd be amazing. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Hmm. Pip, pip. I don't know. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Where are we going? Where are we going? Fade to black. Where are we going? Where did we go? 
There we go. There we go. Levi's is still inside. Is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely. It's like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is, yeah, this is a lot of text. Has hold has a hold over him. Then there's a chance he will return to his senses. Listen well, Jackass, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. This is kind of useless, by the way. Using the Spiral Charge, you can rid Levi's of the of the blight that is hold that has hold of him. The technique is quite easy to perform. All you have to do is press A. What is this A you speak? Of. I live in the land of video games. However, the acceleration effect lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far. M maintaining stable flight, stable flight can be tricky, as can talking in your voice. This is a technique that only senior Night Academy students have been, who have mastered high-level flight skills, are able to allowed. Just do the text. Just do the text. Uh, a little bit earlier for this extraordinary circumstance. Well, I'll make an exception this time. However, I will test you. We're going to do a test. Why? First, dive on this platform and call your bird. And tutorials. And many, 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 many tutorials. We are nearly at the end of the game. Please don't make me do tutorials. You know, I'd appreciate it. Since I know roughly how this game works, I would like it if you did just throw me in a situation and said, You'll work it out. You know how Spiral... Press A. He told me to press A. I know how... Pre I know what pressing A is and does. This basically turns the the charge... Oh, I've got to do it in a time limit as well. This isn't particularly difficult, but okay. This is... Yeah, it, it's... Instead of the sort of the surge forward, it's more like this. I can spiral round. That's kind of cool. You know, that's kind of helpful. I'll come after that burden a little bit. It can be used to, I think, defeat enemies or something. I'm not sure. It, it there, there were enemies in the Thunderhead, which I think is what this is supposed to be for. But you can actually kill them by just running into them, or actually rather charging into them and, you know, just doing it that way. That also works. I want to get after this target because this is a bird. That's my target, bird. Get out of the way. Yeah. There's only... I actually killed it. I actually killed it. Only one bird is allowed to rule this guy. I didn't kill that one. He shall live and tell the others that I am a fearsome menace or something. This isn't very interesting. I may skip this. And with 25 seconds remaining, he has done it. He is the master of whatever kind of sport that is supposed to be. I'm not sure. There's When there's one last bird running around, it is flying around. Why would you run in the sky? When, when there's one, one last bird flying around, it's quite hard to get that last target. I am done with you, because we have worked out what the spiral charge does and what we need to do. Uh, we need to find Levias. Indeed, I should go back to the voice. Maybe the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin might know something. Every year, he makes an offering of his pumpkin suit for Levias. Is this your voice again? I'm not sure. Go to the Lumpy pumpkin and ask him what he knows. We're now on good terms because I fixed his chandelier. That's not what I did. If we're speaking technically, I didn't actually fix the chandelier. I broke it, which is slightly different. And I worked off my debt. Did I have a debt? I think I had a debt. And I worked for him. And we're now on good terms, or at least neutral terms. I'm not sure. Imagine if we did this. I think actually, because this is story specific, if you broke the chandelier, then didn't do any of the mini games and got to this point in the story. I think I'm not entirely sure. You have to do the mini games or something. Am I thinking of someone else? Am I getting that wrong? You actually have to do the uh, optional mini games in order to make the story happen. Is that a thing? I think that, that I think that happened to me. I'm not going to do your voice because uh, I might be serious because I forget. I do forget your voice. You're talking about Levias. Uh, you know, it wasn't where. Yeah, something's wrong. We need some basin pumpkin soup. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. The Thunderhead's there. I have magic powers. I have not magic powers, but I know many things. I have a bird. I also have something which will be able to deliver soup. We know how this works. Uh, how do I plan to fly? I have a bird. Birds are good. Best batch of soup ever. Go make soup. Yeah, he's gonna make soup. Oh, okay. He's uh, fried up now. Yeah, go make soup. Oh, those soup sound effects. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's a giant bowl of soup. How much? Ten years! Oh, that's that's just... <laughs> hasn't been cooking it for ten years. That's a ten-year-old soup! No, it's just... He's got ten years worth of experience for pumpkin soup. That's what I thought it was. V, I know. I know where this is going. Signal for the robot. I am the... Oh, I'd like to point out, I am the hero. I am the protagonist. This thing here, when it comes down, is merely the robot. You see the difference? You see what difference that makes? The, the owner is just like... This is another heavy load. Yeah, he's, he's a strong robot. Just want to skip through this because there's many things I'd like to do this episode. And I'd like to do them quickly. Because after all that happened last episode, and how little that happened last episode, I would like to get some gameplay in. Rather than staring at, at creatures reacting in a cutscene. Uh, Offer to Leviathan's Thunderhead Clown. Island with an everlasting rainbow across the sky. Oh, yeah. 
Everlasting rainbow. Let's go to rainbow land. Oh no, enemies. How will I defeat them? I will defeat them in the exact same way I defeat- Ow. Okay, that didn't work. I will defeat them in the exact same way I defeated the last bunch, and that's by just ramming into them. That did work. For the last time we fought them, I can't- uh, I killed one. I killed one. The everlasting rainbow is down here. We haven't been to it. This area has like, I don't know, one use, maybe two uses to it down here. I think there was one later on, like, significantly later in the game. We're, we're starting a sort of a mini- well, it's, it's a major thing because it's part of the actual story, but it's kind of a- a- a tangent, a slightly unnecessary tan- un unnecessary tangent, I don't know. Put the pumpkin soup down! Don't- oh. The unlighting the pump cargo pumpkin soup. Very odd place to s for soup delivery, I agree. Uh, something hungry could jump out for soup or robot. That's a big ass lump of soup. Cup of soup. Yeah, it's by robot. That's good. So we got the soup, that's important. We now need to find a giant- s giant sky creature. I imagine that wouldn't be too hard to find. In fact, it appears we found the giant sky creature. Aren't we good at this? I feel like we have a hidden talent for giant flying giant sky whales. This is Levias. Uh, we'll find out briefly. There's some funky ass stuff. I don't even know what that is. It looks like some kind of growth. Some kind of unshapely growth. He should have checked in the shower a bit more. And then, oh, it's raining. It's kind of like a shower. I'm making, making not very funny wordplay. I'm trying to Pad out the moment, that's a giant. Okay. He is an angry, angry giant sky whale. This is kind of cool. This reminds me of something from, uh, actually Phantom Hourglass, incidentally, which is uh, not that weird. It's a boss in the overworld. It's a bit odd. This is kind of a, a, a sort of a mini boss or something. I don't really know what to call this. But we can, actually, we, is this what we do? I think this is what we do. I'm trying to remember if we can actually, like, snipe him with arrows instead. Oh, miss, no! The giant tail. We could snipe him with arrows, maybe. Has anyone done that? Is that a thing you can do in this game with this boss? This kind of boss? I don't want to call it a mini boss, because that's, that's not what it is at all. Can I? No! Oh, I'm losing ground. That's not, that's not fair. Where's he gone? Let's get back here. This, you know, this is kind of cool. Maybe we could have had more of these. Maybe we could have had, like, more interesting encounters in the overworld where you'd fight more giant creatures. Maybe it's like Shadow, Colo Shadow of the Colossus or something. I had to... No, no, I think it's what we do. There we go. I got one of them. That means I'm doing the right thing. I'm just not very good at it. Oh, where are you? Where are you guys even coming from? It's not very fair. It's not very funny. It's not very entertaining. I don't like it. Going. Oh, I'm going to intercept it. Gonna, why is he speeding up? That's not very helpful. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I mighty well can do this. Come on. Faster. Where's the speed? Speed sail. The speed wing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, go. I'm trying to line it up. Line it up and kill the thing! I don't even have to really hit it. I've got to be kind of nearly, kind of nearly, kind of sort of near it. And the kind of dodgy hitbox will take care of the rest. Now where's the last one? Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to actually charge for this. I, I thought I was just catching up to them. I actually, do actually, I do actually have to charge for them. Okay. Where is it? It's down there. Use the look down feature. Coming after you. Coming after you, asshole. Coming after you, asshole. How do you feel now? Ha well, kind of not very good, as you're about to see, because though those were just like arms or appendages. Here's the actual, like, threat. Ow. Here's the actual threat here. Can Higher. Higher so we can take this stupid thing down. Levias isn't the, uh, the bad thing about this. He's infected by something nasty, and the, the something nasty has just reared its head, and it's over here. And it's going downtown. Here we go. I have an awesome Skyward Strike, which may be important, as we're about to see. This is, uh, the actual boss, kind of. It's a sort of boss, I don't know. This is the Ocular Parasite Bilocyte. Ah, uh, Ocular Parasite is only because you have lots of eyes. I forget how we need to fight. We're gonna hit it back. Okay, I remember. This is like some Dead Man's Volley shit. Oh, yeah. This is Zelda Games of Old. How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is... I'm... I'm... This is reminds you of... Oh, no. This reminds you of Zelda Games of Old. Oh, I'm too close. Hang on. Hang on. I can fix this. I can fix this. Watch me fix this. Yeah, fixing it. I'm the fixer. They call me the fixer. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna... Skyward Strike, I think. Skyward Strike. There we go. I remember. I remember what I need to do. Oh, I remember what I need to do. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that he fell down. Okay. It's quite a simple fight. It's, uh... It's an easy enough fight. We might be able to hit him with arrows. Can we do that? I feel like we should be able to do that. I may try that if I get bored, which will not take long, because this is, you know, fairly... Ah, I got doing it really badly timing. 
<laughs> oh, god damn. I do like any fight where you actually fight on top of something which is moving, moving, or any any kind of gameplay where you fight on top of something which is moving. It's just, I don't know, there's some, there's some added jeopardy to it which I do enjoy. I need to go far enough away this time. There we go, let's kill the damn thing. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? No, you're not. Another time we can do that. We can do that fine. Are we going to do anything different this time? No, that's okay. That's fine by me. We'll go in again. Get over. Oh, that was that was that was he that's terrible. Okay. Am I going to be slightly more accurate with my skyward not skyward strikes with my normal strikes? Come on, let's do this again. Yeah, up in that corner. Up in that corner. Yeah. Let's, let's do skyward strike. Skyward strike. My awesome. No, that didn't work. Whoop, no, oh, okay, I see what we're doing now. We can't hit him with a Skyward Strike, though, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Yeah, Skyward Strike, yeah! How do you feel? Skyward Strike, how do you feel now? Uh, and then just, no, nah, Skyward, oh, come on. I can do better than that, I can do better than that, and Skyward Strike, there we go. I, I think we are supposed to hit back these little green things, but not necessarily. Skyward Strike, <laughs> I can do this, I'm okay with this, I'm very comfortable with this. Uh, and then just, yeah, no, okay. I don't know why. Sometimes it hits and sometimes it doesn't. I am not so sure why. I think this is what we're supposed to be doing because he appears to be taking damage from it. There we go. That is apparently what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm fighting the boss in a way it's not supposed to be fought. I don't know what's going on. That's apparently a boss fight. We don't get a heart container for it. So maybe it's not a true boss fight and the, the giant sky whale is sinking into the land below. This, this game's about to get very dramatic and very sad because there's going to be a beached whale on the land of Hyrule below. Oh dear, this game just got not very in, not very, not very uh, kind. That would be quite a bad, bad plot twist if that was the case. It would be very sad, very good social commentary on, the, on our very poor treatment of sea animals. But that's not how it works. He's got a giant beard. Look, that is, is that all a beard? That's a huge beard. I know you've got like an encyclopedic knowledge or something, but that's pushing it. What was your voice? We haven't given you a voice yet. Tell me, boy, was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? It might have been. I'm not sure. I must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. That's good. But that business is done with now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. Ah, uh, he likes it. I am the great spirit they call Leviast. Before she passed from this world, long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. And what do they call you, boy? Ah, oh, Jackass, is it a rather pleasing name that your parents clearly have excellent taste in names? No, they don't. Don't lie to me. Hmm, you carry a curious sword, boy, and that I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. Ah, I see it now. Jackass, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assume you've come to hear what I know of the Triforce. You know of the Triforce? I thought we were just here being kind. Do I know? You do realize you are speaking to the great Sky Spirit, do you not? Bah, no matter. It's bad response. Sarcastic response. As I suspected, listen closely and I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago... Uh, <laughs> that, that rhymes. An evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. The goddess did everything in her, did everything in her power to prevent it from falling into his hands. From, for the safety of all things, you hear the trifle somewhere within the rocks you call Skyloft. However, its, it's location has been kept secret. Even I do not know where it now. Oh, but the goddess didn't trust me with a hint as to the Triforce's location. The clue is a song meant to be played on the harp you hold. It's known as the Song of the Hero! Oh, this side quest, which isn't actually a side quest, but it damn well feels like one. Okay, let's go with that. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. This is the part of the game I don't like. The goddess split the song into four parts. She entrusted one part to me and the other three dragons, the other to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the song of the hero, seek out the dragons, and convince them to teach you their parts. When they have taught you what they know, come to me and I will complete the song with my own voice. The dragons can be found at Farron Woods, Elden Volcano, and the neighboring desert. Go on, go on then, find the dragons that you now seek. Find the dragons we now seek for no other reason than I want to, I want to go in your blowhole. I want to go in your blowhole. Can I do that? I want- oh, it's not- it's not even- it's like a crater. This is like the m surface of the moon. I am very disappointed. I'm gonna leave this giant sky whale and, uh, okay. So, I must talk about this, because it's- it's not quite an elephant in the room, but it's a something in some room somewhere. Now, level with me. Level me on, on this one. We could end the game. Not quite end the game, but once we do the whole going back to the past thing and finding out that Zelda is Hylia Reborn or some weird thing like that, we could then fight. 
the final boss of the game. We could do that. I feel like this is where the game becomes very pad, very padding intensive, if that makes sense. There is a lot of stuff which happens from now until the end of the game, which didn't really need to happen. I mean, we got to find the Triforce at some point, that's fine, we could have done that. And we could have added another dungeon, which is fine, we're going to do that as well. But the, the, the stuff we have to do in order to get to the last dungeon in the game is borderline absurd. It does take a while to do that, and I don't particularly like that. It does, it, it, it ruins a bit of the pacing the game had, and the game didn't have particularly brilliant pacing I, any, as standard, basically, so I'm not sure if anyone else feels the same way about that. Leave a comment if you do, or leave a comment if you think I'm full of shit, which is most of you, I'm sure, and I'm in a tornado. But for now, this has been Rabbit Luigi, and in the next episode, I guess we're going to, I think Farron Woods is where we have to start, to try and piece together the song of the hero, and, you know talk to a sky dragon. I'm not sure what we're doing, but it's it's something important, I'm sure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.